Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on coordinates and ratios. So this is the second video on this topic and we'll be looking at a much more difficult skill now which is using ratios to find coordinates. So in this example points A and B have coordinates of negative 5, 16 and 3, 12 respectively. Point C lies on the line segment between points A and B such that AC to CB is 3 to 5. Find the coordinates of point C. Uh, so uh, the first thing we have to do is look at our ratio which is 3 to 5. Uh, now let's mark these on the line segment. So we have three parts here to five parts there. So if we have the total number of parts, uh, there are eight parts in total. That's just three plus five. So if there are eight parts in total, which is the distance of A to B, and three of these parts are the distance A to C, we can say that AC equals three eighths times A to B. So in order to find out uh, where the coordinate C lies, what we're going to have to do is find out the distance of A to B, times it by 3 eighths to get the distance of A to C, and then add that distance to point A, and that should give us the location of point C. So we're going to deal with X and Y values separately because that will make our calculation much easier. Uh, so first of all, let's look at the distance in X uh, from A to B. So that's this distance here, horizontal distance. Now if points A and B have X values of negative 5 and 3 respectively, then the distance in X is uh, let's write distance in x. So that is 3 minus minus 5, which is the same as 3 plus 5, so that's 8. So now to find the distance from a to c in x, now we just have to times this value by 3 eighths to get this distance here. Uh, so uh, the distance in x from a to c uh, is therefore 3 eighths times 8. Uh, which is just 3 because the 8's cancel. So that's going from A to C. So now we're in a position to work out the X coordinate of C and to do that we just add this value of 3 onto the X coordinate of A. Uh, so we'll just do that here. So that's negative 5 plus 3 and that's minus 2. So that is the X coordinate of C. Uh, so let's make a note of that. We'll put it in green for C. And now we have to do the same thing for the Y values. So, uh, if we look at the change in y now, going from a to b, uh, we have y values of 12 and 16. So, distance in y is 12 minus 16, uh, which is minus 4. Now we have to do the same thing and times this distance by 3 eighths to find the distance to c from a, uh, vertically that is. So, uh, 3 eighths times minus 4, well minus 4 divided by 8 is minus a half, times 3 is minus 3 halves, or minus 3 divided by 2. So now we're in a position to work out the y value of c, and to do that we just add this value of minus 3 over 2 to the y value of a. So uh, let's do that, and then we have 16 plus minus 3 over 2, and if you do that you should get a value of 29 divided by 2, so that's 14.5, uh, so that's our y value for c. So therefore the coordinates of c, we'll write them up here so we can see it nice and big, is x value of minus 2 and a y value of 29 over 2. If you'd like to practice the coordinates and ratios topic, you can do so with our online exam. Uh, if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions, uh, there's a variety of different question types. Um, all of which are in an exam style and you get instant feedback on each and every one. So you can keep track of the areas that you need to improve on. Uh, if you're interested, uh, then click the link below, it'll take you straight there.